So you'll need some score tape, some glue, writing utensils. I use a pick to take the back off my tape. Um, I like to use my acrylic square to tear my tape. And we're going to start with an 8 by 8 so this is 8, 8 and a half by 8 and a half and then the interior pages are all 8 inches. So this is 8 by 8. Okay. So for page 1 we're going to start with a piece that I pre-cut and on page 1 we're going to add a couple of flaps to the right hand side of the page and then there's going to be a stationary mat inside which is actually going to be mounted directly to uh, directly to the uh, designer paper. So with that I'll go ahead and get started um, mounting these two and I'm using 3 8 inch score tape which is my go-to size for um, anything with a hinge. And these two, um, these two flaps are going to be um, installed directly onto the page. They are so once you um, score at a half inch and fold over, you should have six and a quarter by four and a quarter, which is the perfect size for a an untrimmed photo. Okay, and these are going to be applied directly to the pocket page. And I'm just going to eyeball these, and they're just going to be a slight stagger here. There's one, and then the second one is going to be mounted just under it, and like I said, it's just going to have a slight stagger. And this will be mounted right here. There we go. Okay, one and two. We're going to go ahead and mount this designer paper right here, and this is going to go right there. So that's six and three quarters by four and one quarter. There we go. And then we score half inch. Score it a half inch. And this is trimmed out to six and a quarter by four and a quarter, six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And this is actually just going to be applied directly to the mat here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Actually, I'm going to ink my edges first. So that... All right. I've got my my edges inked and got some glue on here. Just trying to figure out the orientation, and I think I like this. So I'm going to lay this down. And this is um, a 16th inch um, mat. So it's going to sit just inside the 8x8. Nice and tight. And that's really just a design preference. So if you like a larger margin, I think that looks okay too. Okay, that's nice. Now this is going to lay down here, and it's going to close like this. Okay, I'm going to get my cap on my glue. Okay, all right, so I'm back to finish uh, page one. And so we've got these two flaps, these two right-hand flaps in, and they're attached directly to the pocket page. I added a piece of ribbon to the middle of the top flap, and then I've added a the pair to the ribbon on uh, this six, six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And this is actually going to be adhered directly to the designer mat. I'm just going to adhere the whole thing down because I think if I try to use it as a pocket, I'm just going to wind up peeling up the, um, the ribbon. Yeah. 
again, this is four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Four and a quarter by six and a quarter. And all I'm trying to do now is I'm going to lay this down and I just want it to pair nicely with uh, this piece of ribbon. So I'm going to have to do a little testing. It's lighting. Get that a little closer to me. That's a little bit crooked. Tough when the uh, when there's a pattern on the other side because it's very easy for your eye to be pulled in the direction of the pattern. And then I'll come back and add my designer layers on top of this when I have finished the rest of the base pages. Go ahead and cut this little piece of tape off. Good enough for now. Okay, now moving on to page two. All right, page two, we have a couple of flaps. <coughs> and the large flap is actually going to get it here to the left-hand side of the page, right here. And this is five, five by eight, five by eight. And you're going to score a half inch along the five-inch side. So you'll have a finished flap of four and a half by eight, four and a half by eight. And let's get a little square tape on here. Bring this real quick. Pick tool. And I did not get tape all the way to the bottom, so I'm just going to put a dot of glue there. That's probably a little more than I need. Alright, so we're just going to go flush with the outside of um, the pocket page. There we go. All right, and now I have two more, sorry, three more flaps. Two flaps and one photo mat. So the two flaps are actually gonna get adhered to the inside of this large flap, and they're just gonna be stacked in a waterfall, one on top of the other. And then I have one stationary piece, which is going to lay down on this side. Now this flap or this this stationary piece is actually going to get adhered to directly to the um, designer paper. So here's my designer paper. This will go here, and then this mat's going to get directly applied here, and then these two waterfalls are going to get um, adhered to this flap. Now because these are uh, floating um, waterfalls meaning they're not going to be attached to the edge of the flap. Um, they're actually going to wind up being attached directly to a piece of uh, designer paper also. So I'm actually going to install these later. I'll go ahead and install this one now, put down my base paper, and install 
this flap now. And the reason I'm going to do um, the waterfall later is I have not selected this paper yet. So I'll get down the base. Designer paper. This album is a little different for me because I've done a lot of features um, that are actually adhered to um, the designer mat. So it's, it's really kind of like a two-step process where you get in the base page and then you come back and add features to your mats and then install the mats. It's a little different. Um, so my process is, is reflecting that. Okay. Let's see, I want to try to look at this from left to right, top to bottom, and I think I like it this way. So. Okay, so that is in. And again, this is going to be stationary. And I'm going to go ahead and only adhere three of the four sides, so this will also be a pocket. Okay, so let's see. When it's closed, it's going to look like this. So I'm just trying to get a feel. I don't want it to look too much like this side. So I don't want to do that. I could, but then these will all be vertical. So I kind of like this idea where I have some going horizontal and some going vertical. Um, I think I'll do this, and then I'll come back and put some kind of an embellishment here. So that, again, this. Sorry, that went way outside the intended line. This is... <coughs> <coughs> My goodness, this is four and a half. I'm sorry, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Four and a quarter by six and a quarter. It's just a flat mat that's going to get adhered directly to the designer page. And then I left the top side open so that this is actually a pocket as well. I like that. So I'm going to do a quick check. Just a quick visual check down here. And it's about, it's about even. So I think that is good. So this is in. All right. And then, like I said, I'm going to come back and add these two flaps after I've chosen my designer paper. So for now, I'm just going to paper clip them in place. And I'll come back and install them a little bit later. Close that. Now we're on to page three. And page three, I love this paper, um, is going to be this designer paper. And then on top of... Um, on top of this uh, feature, I'm going to um, do uh, cutouts here and here, and then these are going to be two pockets. So I like this. Um, I like the look of this. So given that, I'm going to go ahead and get some ink on this and get the base page down, because that's going to be pretty straightforward. And then I'm going to stop for a minute and go use my die cut machine and cut out two circles. I think I'm going to do two circles. So it'll look like a double frame here. Well, I'm done. Oh, that will look nice. <clears throat> okay, I got all my edges. This is going to go down. And this is Stamperia, the music collection. And I am using, or so far I've used or I'm planning to use, I take that back, I'm planning to use two packets. So the Stamperia um, paper pads, they call them blocks, come in um, sets of 10. So you get 10 sheets, 10 double-sided sheets. So I I know I like to have my albums be fairly interactive, which means I, you're going to need more sheets. So I am planning on using two blocks or two packs. And that's 20, 20 sheets. A little extra glue here. And 
And this is uh, for the purpose of our channel. This is my second Stamperia mini album. The other one was done with Ceremony. Um, and I like it. And it's been out there for a while. <clears throat> but I haven't done anything <clears throat> for quite some time. Okay, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go cut this out. And then this is going to get applied just like this. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I went to my um, my die cutting mach machine, my Sizzix, and I used the Spellbinders uh, die to cut out two circles in um, this piece of paper, and it is <clears throat> seven and seven eighths <clears throat> by four and a quarter. Seven and seven eighths by four and a quarter, and it's actually going to get adhered directly to <clears throat> directly to the uh, designer sheet right here. And I'm going to push it down just a little bit off center. And I'm going to go ahead and save these because I might use these as embellishments somewhere else later on. <clears throat> I'm going to have it a little bit off center, and the way I'm going to attach it to the page is I'm going to go around the edges. <clears throat> and I'm going to leave it open so that I can use this as a pocket. And Stamperia always has these beautiful uh, tags as part of their cut aparts. And so I'll be using a tag to slip in behind here. Um, maybe not this one in particular, but that's what I'll be doing. So this will be left open as a pocket. <clears throat> and I'm adhering this directly to the designer mat. And I'll do that right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little frog in my throat this morning. And go ahead and put one right in the middle as well. Okay. And like I said, I'm going to bring this down a little bit for two reasons. I, I don't want it to be uh, too high to the top because I am going to slip some stuff in from the top down. But I also don't want it lined up with this. Um, visually, I think you either have to be exactly on or make it look as though you're deliberately offset. And that's what we'll be doing. Okay. And just going to lay that down. Make sure we get a good adhesion. Kind of burnish, burnish, burnish. And so I'll come back. Um, and add a designer layer to this in just a minute. I'm going to have to pick something and then also die cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue the um, main pages, the base pages, um, but this will finish up <clears throat> what is now page three. All right, so here we are, one, two, three, on page four. And we're going to do page four a little bit different. Everything is actually going to get attached to the designer mat. So I'm going to attach it to the designer mat prior to installing it into the book. And so we're going to start with, um, we have um, one card, and this is eight and a half by six and a quarter, eight and a half by six and a quarter. It's going to be installed on the bottom, and it's going to be the bottom piece of what I'm calling our waterfall. And then we're going to install three more pieces on top of it. So we'll have um, a total of four flaps. And this bottom flap will just be adhered directly to the paper. So we're going to start with the card piece, install it first, and then layer these other pieces on top. <clears throat> so the, uh, the other three waterfall pieces are four and three quarter by six and a quarter. Four and three quarter by six and three quarter by six and a quarter. And so you'll need three of those, and then you'll need one at eight and a half by six and a quarter. Eight and a half by six and a quarter. All right. And it is going to get adhered directly to the designer mat, and we're going to um, glue the whole back piece down. So when it's installed, <clears throat> it'll be like a card face down that opens up. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to use my grid here. To help me visually get this centered. <clears throat> and so I know I have one, two, three, so that's about right. Okay. So I'm going up from the bottom about a half an inch. 
and a ruler. Let me double check that. Actually, I can use this. It's about a half an inch across the bottom, so it's a little high on this side. Maybe I should have drawn myself a quick cheek line. And I might still do that. Okay. Get all the glue covered. Okay. There we go. little bit and make sure my corners are down so I'm just going to burnish burnish come back and add just a dot here okay looks like it's all stuck down pretty good okay so now I got my base one in and so I'm going to take my other three and um, you just layer these right on top by um, using the the the, um, the flange here as the offset <clears throat> For these, I am going to use some tape. Okay, get all three of these taped. And we can stick them down. And typically, the the first the one that first one that you put in is the hardest, and then everything else just flows off it. So don't be too hard on yourself if you don't get it down straight the first time. And just be patient and then like I said everything else goes in very quickly it's just that first one okay got my tape burnish and then I'll get the tape out my pick tool and real quick I'm gonna get the cap on my glue it's very dry today um, we had just an awesome rainy day yesterday, which is kind of rare in San Diego, but it rained almost all day. And today it's beautiful and warm and quite dry. Static and everything. All right, so I'm just lining up this um, half inch flange with the piece that I've already put in. There we go, so there's one. Beautiful, beautiful. So we'll get the next one in. And then we'll take the uh, whole designer piece and apply it to the book. Okay, just lining up my edges. Nice and straight. The other reason I wanted to adhere everything to the mat before I put it in the book is because I am going to use some magnets and um, as long as it's out of the book, I can actually attach it to the base pocket page or to the back side of the designer page. So a lot of times I'll do something like a waterfall feature and they go, oh, I forgot to put my magnet in. So this way I've got um, some time to think about that. It's not in the book yet, so... I can figure out where that needs to be. Okay. So, now this whole piece is going to get adhered directly to um, the uh, album, like so. So now I'm going to figure out where to put my two magnets. Um, at least two, maybe more. Because there's going to be a lot of designer paper between the top flap and... Um, And the bottom magnet. So I think I'm probably going to use three magnets. So one on this page, the top page, 
and then maybe one in the middle and then one on the very, very back. Okay, and I think I'm going to put one more somewhere in between these two. Because um, like I said, there's going to be, you know, paper on each side of these flaps. So that's a lot of paper to have to pass through to make the magnet work. And that feels pretty good. So I think that is where I'm going to keep it. All right, so we put a magnet here on top. And then I pass two pages, and then on the bottom page there's a magnet, and then on the flip side there's another magnet. So there's a total of three magnets. Actually, I'm going to pull this one up. I take it back. I am going to put it here on this side. I've got the tape on the wrong side. There we go. I'm going to do it there. So page one, skip page two. Magnet on page three, and then magnet on the back of the designer mat. That's what I've decided. Okay, put some tape on it. We're going to leave that tape on there until we're ready to come back with the designer paper to layer on top. But this mat is ready to be installed, so I'm going to get some glue. Uh, some First, I'm going to get some ink, and then some glue, and then we'll get it installed, and we'll go to page five. And like I said, I'm kind of doing this one different where I'm not getting all the features in for each page. I'm going to go back after all the bases are in and then add some tags, and the embellishments, and the layers that go on top of, um, like, for example, this waterfall feature. Okay, I'm going to get some glue in. off. Okay, now bring down the book. And it's looking to get nice even margins. Although as you can see on the craft paper it doesn't show up nearly as much as when you're on black. Black really um, pulls your eye to the to the edge of the mat, so having um, really tight margins on black to me is is really important because it's so the contrast is so great. Where with this um, craft, it's pretty soft. Um, so if you're off a little, it's very forgiving. Something to consider when you're building your albums and choosing your base album colors. Okay, I'm just running my nail along the edge to make sure it's adhered. It is. Um, sometimes the the ink color on the edge will make it look like the paper is actually pulling up, but it's not. Okay, so there we go. Now we're on to page five. Page five is a very simple page. Very pretty, but very simple. So it is, um, so this is going to get it here directly to the pocket page. And then uh, we've got one large pocket and a piece of paper that goes there. So the way I designed it was I uh, cut a piece of designer paper to go on this page, and then I cut it in half uh, for the pocket so that it'll be a continuous pattern when it's actually installed. So I'm going to ink and lay this down, and then we'll put the pocket in. And on this, in this album, all my pockets are just flat pockets with glue around three of the four edges. I did not do flanges. Um, so all my pockets will be nice and flat and tight. Um, that can be a good thing if you don't want things to slide around. Um, if you want to put a lot of stuff in your pockets, then you really need to add that inch to one side. So you've got a half inch flange on either side and a half inch on the bottom. But I've opted to keep everything fairly flat in this album. OK, 
Okay. So it's directional, so I'm making sure that's the top, and this is the top of my designer page. There we go. That is in. Pretty straightforward. Now, the pocket that's going to be attached is 8 inches. So it's four and a half by eight, four and a half by eight. And it's just going to get installed right here. It's going to come over the top of this paper just slightly, just ever so slightly. And then this will be adhered directly to this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of the designer paper. Now you can add your designer paper to your pocket before you install your pocket or you can install the pocket and then add the paper, which is what I like to do, and here is why. I do it in that order because I want the line from this mat to match up with this mat, and it's impossible to do that on here and then make it line up. So if you put this in, then you can make sure that your lines go straight across. So I'm gonna install this piece first, and we're just adhering three of the four sides because we want this to be a pocket. was a little heavy on the edge there so I'm going to take a little of that glue off and then of course I want my pocket to open this way so I'm hearing it to the pocket page as close to the hinge as possible but being sure not to create um, any resistance there when I go to open my page so I'm going to stay off um, <clears throat> <clears throat> any score lines, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm pressing down, pressing, pressing, <clears throat> I'm wiping off my little bit of excess glue here, all right, so that is in, and now that it is in, I can, whoops, that's not quite in, oh, you know what, my pocket page has a piece of tape in there, so, discovery. Um, when I went to install the pocket page, apparently I didn't get all my uh, tape up, or the backings off my tape. So there's a piece in here that I'm trying to grab a hold of. And I'll pull it out. Maybe. <laughs> wow, that's really in there. Let me see if I can use my hook instead. Yeah, I got it. Just a little piece got left in there. So my tape had, the backing of the tape tore off. There we go. Now it's out. Now my page is down. <laughs> I thought it was the flap, but it wasn't. It was the pocket page itself. So not that squared away. Okay, so now I have this nice deep pocket. And then this is the piece that's going to get it here directly here. So I already inked it. And this is just going to go flat against here. So we're going to put adhesive um, on the whole back. And you always want to make sure you get some adhesive in the middle because that... <clears throat> will prevent your um, designer paper from um, creating a, an air, air bubble. Just making sure I got a little on the corners. And now I am going to turn it sideways and I'm just going to line up the edges of the paper so that I've got that continuous mat. <clears throat> straight down and I like it. it looks good see nice and straight so that's why I install it that way it's always easier to do installations outside of the book if you can but if you want those margins to be um, consistent all the way across then it's best to have the pocket on the page first okay 
there we go. So that's a nice, big, beautiful pocket, and that's a very simple page. On to the next page. Okay, so let's see. Some of these I designed a while ago, so you have to bear with me. All right, so this is going to go here. I'll get rid of my embellishments, get my flaps over here. And I've got a waterfall. So this is six and three quarters by four and a quarter, six and three quarter by four and a quarter, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. That's just the base mat size. And I've actually got one of these six and a quarter by four and a quarter, six and three quarter by four and a quarter, one of each. And then I have this <clears throat> one, um, piece that I put together. So it is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. That's this piece. And then I've attached it to a six and three quarter by four and a quarter so I can make a card. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. So that was to me the easiest way to do it. So again, it's six and three quarters, scored it a half inch, attached to a six and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then you have, when you're finished, a, a finished card that measures six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Six and a quarter by four and a quarter. Okay, and so <clears throat> I'm actually gonna attach this little flange <clears throat> like so. And it's gonna become the hinge that holds um, this piece in place. So this hinge, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these two pieces together just like this. First, I'm going to add some tape to this. And this little piece is what's actually going to get adhered to the pocket page. And then this card piece will get attached to it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. My goodness. So it's going to go like so. Okay. And so the reason I have two of these instead of just one attached to this is on the backs, I want to put a mat on both sides and I didn't want this little piece just kind of hanging out. So that is kind of what my thought process is. So I'm going to go ahead and glue three out of, or two out of these two sides closed. I'm going to leave the bottom open for now because I need to choose a designer pa paper for these two and then I want it to slide inside just like this. So until I pick my designer paper for here, I'm going to leave the bottom open. <clears throat> but I'll go ahead and close the top and side. And then, like I said, when I've just picked my designer page, I'll come back and um, slide it in here and I'll it, apply adhesive to the balance. So this piece is gonna go in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. So I can get my base mat down. Uh, Cause I think, if I'm correct, I have to look at my hinges. Yeah. So this is going to get it adhered to the, the bottom here. And this is going to be roughly centered. So I'm going to use my ruler real quick and find, oops, that was loud, find my center point real quick. So it's right here. There we go. Okay, close enough. So that flap will go here. This is going to get attached like so. And again, I need to get my designer paper down first. I've got a flap and I'm going to install it over here on the side.
Okay, so let me get this a little bit closer to me because I want to look visually. So this is, they're going to be slightly stacked on top of each other is the, is the look I'm going for. So this will be here. Carrying it to the outside edge of the pocket page. Just lining it up with the edge. And it's going to look like it's there. And then there's one more piece, and this is the last piece, and it's actually going to be installed um, down here. And it will be staggered as well. And I'm not sure where I want that yet. I'll install this like this. Now this last flat piece, this last mat, actually gets installed on the designer paper because it does not have a hinge so it won't be applied directly to the um, pocket page. It will get put onto the designer paper. You know what? I think I might want to turn it vertically. Let's see how that looks first. I kind of like it. Maybe I want it to be hidden out the way under. Okay, so I'm just visually trying to decide where I want this last piece, and I kind of like that. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and ink the edges of my designer paper and lay this down. As soon as I find my ink, just set aside. <laughs> Excuse me. a word on here so I'm just making sure that the orientation has the word going the correct direction. Is that the side I want? Yeah. I didn't tag my um, design. Usually I put a sticky on it so that I don't lose track of what goes up and what goes down. I did not do that. So. I have to keep checking back at the page next to it, what it's going to look like. That's it. This will go down, so. This will be applied like so. And this, like I said, will get applied directly to the light down. So I think I'm going to put a cheek line here and um, it's going to get applied directly to the designer paper. Okay, so now that I have a line, I just want to make sure I put this in relatively straight. <coughs>
there we go. This is the bit that's going to go. So here's the piece that's going to go right. All right. Yeah. All right. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to use a pocket, but I'm going to keep it open so that I have a choice. I wonder if it automatically turns off after 28 minutes. I got a new camera and I haven't quite figured it out. All right, so we're just gonna get some glue down and get this page in. Oh, we're making very good time. <clears throat> Make sure I've got my words going the right direction. It looks like a do, so it looks like they go this way. Okay, where is this glue? <clears throat> Very good. Okay, I'm going to add this flap and I'm going to toward the bottom and I'm going to leave it open-ended uh, so it can be used as a pocket. I'm going to take off some of the glue because it's too much. Okay. Okay, we're in. <clears throat> I'm going to use a magnet here. And I need to place it here first because this is the side that I'm going to have to worry about running off the edge. And if I had been thinking about it, it'd actually be under this design sheet, but I let that get away from me. Yeah, that's about as close as I can get there without having to worry about um, the magnet being exposed. <clears throat> That is done. Last page. Last page. Okay, so I got a couple of different things. So I got one large hinge that's going to be applied. You know what? I don't think I told you, but the measurements for these are four and three quarters by six and a quarter, four and three quarter by six and a quarter. So everything is finished once you get the, the flange folded and, and attached is a six and a quarter by four and a quarter sheet. So that's just across the board. That's what the size for all the mats are. I kept it very standard um, to make it easy to put untrimmed photos in uh, throughout the book. So this one is four and three quarter by six and a quarter 
There's a half inch score line on the four and three quarter side. This is just a six and a quarter by four and a quarter uh, base mat applied directly to the page. <clears throat> and then there's just a couple of small odd pieces like this. And you know what? I'm not even sure I measured this, but I think it's two and three quarters. Actually, it's two and a quarter. <clears throat> Two and a quarter by four. Two and a quarter by four. But it, it could be any size. It just has to be smaller than the um, the photo page that you're putting on top of it. So I did four by two and three quarter. And then a score a half inch. This is three inches scored at two and a half. Three inches scored at two and a half. And it's just going to be um, applied directly to the pocket page. <clears throat> So we'll get that in. I'm not doing a very good job of doing my measurements. And part of that is because I'm using a different process I'm not used to. <clears throat> but I will give myself a do better slip so that next time it will be uh, a little smoother. And uh, as usual, I will run banners with the measurements. So even if you, if I don't say it, you'll see it in the banner at some point Boom. when I'm working on the page. Okay, this is going to I'm gonna attach this directly to the pocket page, away from the spine. Turn it so I can see all the edges. So that is in, again, three scored at two and a half by eight. I'm going to, I did something similar on the other page where I sandwiched um, my mat. So this is a card. This is eight and a half. Eight and a half by six and a quarter scored in half. Eight and a half by six and a quarter. And it's going to go in just like this. So the other one went this way. This one's going to go in like this. The whole thing will open up and then I'm going to have something else attached directly to this page. So I've got this piece and I've got this piece. So the way I think I want to do it is this will go in like this. <clears throat> And then I've got a piece that will go just like this. So this piece, which is six and three quarter by four and a quarter, six and three quarter by four and a quarter, is also going to get attached directly to um, the pocket page. Get that in. And, um, and then we'll figure out the placement of that card and how it goes on this um, flap. Because when it's closed, I want this one to actually disappear. Okay. I think I'm just going to center it. Is that what I want to do? So this will be closed. This is going to go like this. This is going to go like this. Yeah. I'll center it. So I'm going to turn it sideways, staying away from my spine and any score lines I have here. There we go. And again, so this will close. This will go on here and it'll look like that. Okay. Like that. Okay. So the pieces for the um, pocket page are in. So now I can actually put the designer sheet in. <clears throat> And it's going to go in this direction. And I need a little, a little ink. <clears throat> I 
Get this down. Okay. It's directional, so I just want to make sure I've got it in the right direction. Sorry, my husband's trying to get a hold of me. Checking my margins. Sorry, I had my head in the frame. Pretty, pretty paper. This would be awesome for um, a series of photos from um, a performance, maybe one of your kids. Music. <clears throat> trying to think of a word that it's escaping me when they have a performance recital. Um, photos from a recital it would be awesome. Okay, I'm doing the same thing here that I did before. I'm going to go ahead and glue most of this shut. But <clears throat> I'm going to leave the bottom flange open because um, the designer paper needs to slip in there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this shut like so, and then <clears throat> I notice that this is not exactly on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my trimmer. I'm going to trim this little piece off so that these are perfectly flush because it's going to show on both sides of this flap. So let me do that really quickly. And it's flush. Okay, all done. Okay, so this goes in like this. And this will slide on like so. And again, I, I'm not ready to adhere it because I need to get some designer paper on this big piece first. Cap my glue, straighten out my workspace, and then come back and start layering in some of those designer papers. So for now, I am done. I had originally designed to have one more piece in on this page, but I like it the way it is, so I'm going to set that aside and use it uh, later. But I think I'm done with this page. All right, thanks.